The functional unit of a peripheral nerve cell is the axon. The intracellular contents of the axon, known as the axoplasm, are surrounded by a cell membrane called the axolema. Schwann cells containing layers of a substance called myelin wrap around the axon. The myelin acts as insulation that greatly increases the speed of electrical conduction. Between the Schwann cells are non-myelinated gaps called nodes of Ranvier. These gaps contain voltage-gated sodium channels that propagate the electrical signal. It's also here where local anesthetics exert their effect. If you place an electrode in the axoplasm of a resting peripheral nerve cell, you'll see that the voltage inside the axoplasm is about negative 70 millivolts to negative 90 millivolts less than the outside of the cell. This electrical potential is created primarily by the differences in the concentrations of sodium and potassium on either side of the cell membrane. There are multiple physiologic processes that help create this electrical potential, but the main one is the sodium-potassium pump. These ATP-powered pumps move potassium inside the cell and sodium outside the cell to maintain the resting membrane potential. When an electrical current is applied to the nerve, it causes some of the sodium channels to open. Sodium begins to enter the cell, causing the electrical potential to change. When the electrical charge reaches a certain threshold, an action potential is triggered that causes all of the sodium channels to open and sodium then floods into the cell. The membrane potential peaks at about positive 50 millivolts. At this point, the influx of sodium stops and potassium is ejected from the cell. The depolarization can stimulate the depolarization of the next node of Ranvier, causing the action potential to spread. After the depolarization phase, the sodium-potassium pumps begin restoring the resting gradient by pumping out three sodium ions for every two potassium ions that re-enter the cell.